I'm not feeling very fit at the moment. I need to get back into doing some exercise. I'll get back to my regular exercise routine eventually. I just need to get down to it. Hello there, it's Carly from Learn English with Carly and today you'll find me back in North Vancouver and spring has sprung. There are so many prepositions that we can use with the verb get. In my short introduction there, I mentioned to get back into, to get back to, and to get down to. What other phrasal verbs with get do you know? I think that this is the hardest phrasal verb to learn in English, as there are so many prepositions that can be used after get, and sometimes not just one preposition, but two, such as get in on. Today, we will take a look at some of these phrasal verbs. This is the first video on phrasal verbs with get in this series. There are too many to cover in one video. As always, I will provide you with good sentence examples in different tenses to show you how we use these phrasal verbs in everyday English. A reminder, please feel free to write a comment to me to practice these phrasal verbs. I love hearing from you and I will reply to all comments. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Okay, let's start with our first phrasal verb today, to get about. To get about means to move from place to place or to travel. My friend gets about a lot, visiting different countries every year. Elderly people find it difficult to get about without assistance. My parents got about using public transport during their holiday in Spain last year. When I broke my foot, I couldn't get about very much. If you want to get about here in Canada, the best thing to do is to rent an RV and go on a road trip. Do you get about much? If so, where? If not, why not? Tell me everything and write to me. Our second phrasal verb with get today is to get ahead. To get ahead in life, you need to work hard. To get ahead means to make progress or be successful, especially in your career or goals. We usually follow this verb with either in or by. See if you can work out a pattern for the use of in and by in the following sentences. If you work hard, you can get ahead in your chosen profession. Kieran got ahead by consistently delivering high quality work. Mia is determined to get ahead in the company by taking on additional responsibilities. The employees managed to get ahead by acquiring new skills through training programs. The young entrepreneur worked tirelessly to get ahead in the competitive market. Did you see when to use in and when to use by? Get ahead in plus noun, get ahead by plus algerand ing. If you use an adverb too, put this before the gerund verb. Our third phrasal verb with get is get ahead of. This means to be in a more advanced or a more advantageous position compared to someone or something else. My colleague always leaves early to get ahead of the rush hour traffic. Craig studied diligently to get ahead of his classmates in maths. The company implemented innovative strategies to get ahead of its competitors. In order to get ahead of the competition, the firm invested heavily in research and development. Have you ever done anything to get ahead of others? Today I'll get back home late after I finish this video and finish my errands. 
To get back means to return to a previous location or state. After a long day at work, I can't wait to get back home and relax. My parents got back from their holiday feeling refreshed. They had a wonderful time, relaxing, eating, swimming, you name it. Oh, I should get back to the main topic of discussion. Darkness had fallen by the time the family got back to the campsite. What time do you usually get back to work after your lunch break? Now the next phrasal verb with get is the same as our last phrasal verb, but with an additional preposition, get back at. The preposition at completely changes the meaning of this phrasal verb. To get back at someone means to take revenge against someone. Instead of getting back at her rival, Demi chose to rise above the negativity. The boy decided to get back at his friends by playing a practical joke on them. Getting back at someone may provide temporary satisfaction but can lead to long-term consequences. The countries resolved their differences through peaceful dialogue instead of trying to get back at each other. What about get back in? Get back in means to re-enter a place or return to a group or organisation. I locked myself out and couldn't get back in the house. After a snack break, the man got back into the car. The drummer was so happy to get back in the band. The team captain motivated his teammates to get back into the game after conceding a goal. I do need to get back into doing some exercise now that the weather is improving. To get back into means to resume an activity or re-engage with something. After a long break, Olivia decided to get back into painting. Kevin got back into running and trained for a marathon. Oscar's parents encouraged him to get back into playing the guitar after a period of not practicing. I always struggle to get back into my routine after a holiday. Have you got back into anything recently? If so, what? Our next phrasal verb you may recognise from the Taylor Swift song, we are never ever getting back together. Get back together means to reunite with someone, especially after a breakup or a disagreement. After some time apart, the couple realised that they still loved each other and decided to get back together. The band members patched up their differences and got back together for a reunion concert. The couple broke up, but eventually got back together and worked on rebuilding their relationship. Harry and Jake decided to get back together as business partners again and launch a new venture. Get by means to manage or survive with the available resources or skills. Many people currently have to tighten their belts to get by during the economic downturn. The hiker knows how to get by in the wilderness. Callie lost her job, but managed to get by with part-time work until she found a new full-time job. Despite the challenges of their situation, they were able to get by with the support of their friends and family. Barry struggled to get by in China without knowing the language. Now, I can't get by on less than six hours sleep. Get by on means to survive or manage with a specific amount or type of something. My friend can get by on just a few hours of sleep each night. The couple was able to get by on their small salaries. Maria gets by on a gluten-free diet. The student managed to get by on minimal studying and still achieved good grades. Noel gets by on the income from his part-time job 
was pursuing his passion as a musician. Now the Beatles sang, I get by with a little help from my friends. Don't we all? Get by with means to manage or cope with the help or support of someone or something. I get by with the help of my friends and family. The couple was able to get by with the help of a financial advisor. The team gets by with the cooperation and collaboration of its members. The visually impaired boy got by with the use of assistive technology. Okay, 11 phrasal verbs with get. Get about, get ahead, get ahead of, get back, get back at, get back in, get back into, get back together, get by, get by on, and get by with. This is lots to learn, so practice these in small steps and stages. Please feel free to write to me to practice too. I am here to help you. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that this video lesson has been useful to you. See you again in our next English class. Take care, bye.